Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Shram Malayala. So yesterday, NTI have released the JEE Mains 2024 session one OMR or answer key. Usually we call it as OMR. Let's say response sheet or answer sheet or whatever. So along with that, they have also given the provisional answer key. So basically, I just wanted to add here one thing: uh, what are response sheets? So basically, response sheets are something in an exam there will be like n number of questions. In that, you have just attempted let's say x number of questions. So now in the response sheet, what happens is they will give you the list of n number of questions with all the options which were shown to you on the screen. If you have choosed any option in the exam, they have say, they will say that this option is chosen by you. Something like that. They will give you the option chosen by you code. Okay. If you didn't choose any option, they will say, they will just put dashes or you not chosen something like that. Okay. So and along with that, in the same response sheet, you will have the correct answer ID according to. Tentative answer key of NTA. Okay, so you need to compare whatever option you choose and NTA answer key and calculate the marks accordingly. You know, place four minus one. If you make it wrong, minus one. There are few questions with no negative marking. So all this you know it already. So with that, you just need to calculate the score. And for subject wise, you have to calculate and then add all uh, together. So you will get the final score of the complete J E M N session one, whatever you have attempted. So let me know once you calculate your score, how much you are getting in J E M N twenty twenty four session one. Okay. So I'll show you the process how you can do it. But before that, just let me show you the notice. So this is the notice regarding the response sheet and answer key challenging. So if you want to challenge the answer sheet, saying that whatever provisional answer key given by you by N T A is wrong, but whatever I am showing, uh, so I am thinking this is right. For that, you have to pay two hundred rupees. So this whole process I have already recorded video in twenty twenty one. I have posted it on my channel. But just in case for all of you guys, uh, so to help you out now, I am showing you how you can do it. So you can check your response sheet, you can calculate your score, and you can uh, tell me in the comment section as well as if you want to challenge the answer key, you can do that. So enter the below given security pin, which is a case sensitive security pin. So after entering everything, click sign in. So once you sign in, you can see this interface, and uh, I think most of you all already know about this. So you can check your question paper here. So for your slot, there is different question for each and every slot. There will be different question, right? And also the question numbers will be jumbled here, and their questions will be jumbled here, and right. So whatever question paper order which you you have given in the exam, so that will be shown here. So you can take the print out of uh, this question paper like this. If you click print and uh, save as PDF, if you save this, so this will be downloaded as a PDF. So you have to save like this. So if you scroll here, you can see this is a question. So this is a MCQ type question, and the question ID is ninety one. So note down this ninety one, okay? And as he is not answered this question, so no choose an option is nothing, right? So he didn't choose any option, so that's why it is like a blank. So for this question, for for example, let me show the question ID is ninety seven, and the option he chose is second option. Second option ID is fifty three. So now take a paper and note down for 97 question you have chosen 53 option okay so like this you note down each and every so here here one more question sixth fifth question so for this uh, 98 question he have answered 57 so note down each and every option which you have chosen uh, question id and option id so last two digits are more than enough so now what you have to do so come back just below view question paper you can see view or challenge answer key so click to view or challenge answer key so if you click that Here you can see subject, question type, question ID, correct options, and options ID or for challenge. So for challenge, I will explain later. So you can see here. So this is the question ID, right? So now I have noted down that question ID is 98 and 97. So 97, 98. I will search for 98 and 97 here. So let me search 98 and 97. So you can see 98. Okay. So 98 option he chose. 50 57 so but the option is 58 so that means he got wrong answer for 97 question he chose 53 option 97 he chose 53 but the answer is 55 so that is also wrong answer so in this way you have to check each and every this is the official answer key so coming to challenging of answer keys challenging answer key is not a mandatory step for everyone whoever wants to claim that whatever nta given in this particular question the option is wrong i mean correct answer whatever mentioned by nta is wrong but this is the right answer and if you want to challenge that then only you have to follow these steps if you don't want to challenge any answer not an issue it's not a mandatory step so for example uh, so this candidate he got 98 option as 57 so but the correct answer is 58 right 
so here 57 is the question but he is sure about his answer so he is saying that the answer given by uh, nta is wrong so 58 is wrong my answer is correct uh, so that's why i want to challenge this answer so he, he have to click this 57 option and he have to choose the file so if he has the proper solution of that answer so you can upload it as a pdf and then submit your claim and you have to pay the fees so pay some fees if that uh, claim is correct so they will repay your amount so if that claim is wrong they will not pay back your amount so coming to integers also so here answer is 64 but the but you know that answer is just 8 okay if you know that answer is 8 just type that answer here upload that solution pdf here and then submit your claim and then pay the fee and this is not mandatory actually so uploading a solution is not mandatory you can see in case the candidates want to submit documents in support of challenge of answer case they should upload the PDF, but it is not mandatory. If in case you wanted to show them the correct solution, so you can upload or else nothing directly. So now I have chosen two or two, right? This one and this one. So if you see, I, I, I click submit or whether you want to submit, click cancel if you want to add more challenges. So I'm, I want to submit. If so if I click here, so it is showing like, see, pay the fee that is 400. If those claims are correct, they will repay your back amount back. If the claims are wrong, so you will not get your amount back. So this is how you have to challenge and uh, so from here question view question paper you can download your response sheet means options which you choose in the exam can be seen here from here correct answers can be seen and uh, from here note down the question paper id and option id which you choose from here uh, verify with the option ids and question ids and uh, try to calculate your score this is the official answer key uh, that's it guys that's it for uh, this particular video if you find this a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe for more JE related content and JOSA CSAP counseling related content. Bye bye.